Welcome back to another walk around and test drive here at Coyote Classics. Today, we're gonna check out and take for a spin this 1967 C20. You can't miss this one driving down the road. Dude, this thing sounds good. Sounds awesome. How about them ghost flames? It's subtle and it's perfect for I didn't see them until it's out in the sun. Oh, it's, yeah, it's sharp. That's what's nice is they're like, they're subtle, but they add a little bit to the car, or the truck, I should say. But it's a very quality too, and we'll see that as we go around it and check it out a little closer, but. It was a full frame off restoration. They did a really nice job. I mean, spent a lot of money on it. Yeah, underneath's really nice as well. Bed's nice. Um, enough talk, let's check it out. Okay, do it. As we go up here to the front, you can just barely, like I said, see the ghost flames coming up here. Tiny little paint chip right in here. Play room for a second. Wow, looks nice under there, D. Yeah, under the hood's beautiful. Great, yeah, you, you pictured this one. I haven't really been around it much. A really nice job under the hood. Nice paint. Yeah, it looks great. Bottom of the hood looks nice. Inner fenders look good. You can see there that it was a full frame off. The frame's all been blasted, painted. Are those aluminum heads too? Yeah, they're just they painted? are. No, they're, they're aluminum heads. They're racing heads. You got Uma heads or something like that. Elder Summit. Uh, Summit? Yep. Is that what it is? Yep. Oh, I missed the S. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's got the Serpentine belt system, dual electric fan. Huge uh, aluminum radiator, beautiful job, and just painting the inner uh, fenders and the radiator support grill. Um, yeah, nicer than I thought. It really is. Okay. As far as the front bumper goes, it does have a few little scuffs and stuff maybe in the front bumper. That might not be perfect, um, but very presentable. Looks like it could be the original, but it's in great shape for that. Um, as far as the rest of the uh, the grill pieces, very, very minor scratching, but in, in really in great shape. As we look up and down the side of this truck, uh, very straight, nice driver quality, local car show quality uh, restoration. Um, got a few little paint chips right there at the front. As far as the uh, tires go, um, it's got Firehawks on it, polished aluminum, American Racing wheels, a little paint touch up there too. I mean, this could go to any of your local show and be proud of it. It's just not a, it's, it's not perfect. You know what I mean? It's been driven. Absolutely. So when you drive them, you get a few little tiny chips and stuff. In them. It doesn't look like it's really had anything in the bed though. That's gorgeous. No, isn't the bed nice? And it is a long box, but you know what? A lot of our customers prefer it. You know, they really do. Is that a scratch? Or? Yeah, a little scratch there, there. It's got Buffing compound is all D. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah, yep. that'll come off, I think. Um, back bumper has been replaced. Tailgate looks nice. Dual exhaust looks nice too. It comes out at a good spot, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Sounds great. Yeah, and if a guy wants to really change this truck up, um, you could change the wheels, but it's got some nice fat wheels on it. I mean, you could do something a little different with it. Here's what I like. You know, really nice interior. Um, does have, uh, looks like they had a little tear or something in there. Something kind of got spilled on there. But other than that, which kind of surprised me because it looks new other than that, doesn't it? Um, top of the dash pad's great. And I love what he did with the uh, steering wheel. Did the Impala steering wheel and it's gorgeous. Uh, beautiful paint. I'm pretty sure it's tilt wheel as well. Yeah, tilt wheel. Gauges all look nice. CD player. Beautiful paint on the dash. Doors, carpets, nice. Corner of the door is great. Very quality build. It is. It's got a little bit of age on it. A little driven time. Little ride time. What fun is it if you're not driving it? Exactly, and I say that because there's a couple chips here and there. You know, we can't point everything out. Um, we do our best, but you know, there's a couple chips here too along the tailgate area. Up over the wheel is good. Cab corner looks really good. drive it huh sounds good as far as the rubbers are all been replaced during the restoration as well your bin everything like that it's all stock 
Really nice painting on the it's yeah. comfy, isn't it? I'll hold that a minute. Looks like the it's kind of a shame the horn's not working, but it's because that steering wheel is so gorgeous. And I like what they did with the lever too, don't you? I do too. I'll let you play with that a little bit longer. Wipers work. Are you getting that? Just so I can shut those things off. Yeah, wiper, yep, wipers work. There you go. Oh, oh. You know. oh, dude, we got a little country too. Oh yeah, I feel like country in here. Look how much room we got. So the seat's super comfortable. You got a tilt wheel here. You can put it down, up. And a gorgeous wheel, and that's a huge ass wheel. Yeah. There's still a lot of room. Yeah, there is. Like I said, I take it all the way out. But nice truck. It's kind of set the kind of set the tone. Oh, yeah. The only problem is. I love the country in this truck. This doesn't sound like no country truck. No. Does it? No, it sounds, <laughs> it sounds pretty good. badass. It does have a manual choke too, Big D. See it? Oh, there you go. Smart, good too. Dome light works. Dude, I like this. I hope it drives as good as that fucking sounds. I don't think that works. What the hell is that? I'm not sure. Nitrous? Yep. Ejector seat. Is this one of those things you push and a, something opens up here and you drop your beer cans down through the... I think so, it should. Every truck needs one of them. It's got a horn button. All right, see that's the horn does work. How that thing looks. Might be some sort of. It is some sort of a line lock, isn't it? Yeah. Now you did it. That's good. I know. I was a little nervous because I didn't know if really what I just pushed that. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know if it was that. Pop back out. So I didn't know if it was that beer thing. Beer or thing or the line lock or the nitrous. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it's overdrive too. I have no idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not, remember that one time I about threw your ass out? I had uh, door opened up the one time we were coming around the corner like that. I've seen shit like that on YouTube. I know I could have been on yeah, it. Yeah, that's not good. No. It's up and goes. It does, doesn't it? Man, I really like it, all. Dude, that sound is awesome. I really do. That's how a truck needs to sound. Yeah, it's a good truck. Speedometer works, gas gauge works. Uh, temperature gauge works, oil pressure's way over on the high, way over pegged on high. Four barrel kicks in, nice, don't it? Yeah, it seems to go down the road pretty good, too. Yeah, it really is. As far as our brakes go, the brakes stop nice and straight. I like it. I do too. It's if nice you're looking just up. for a cool cruising truck, something that's going to get a little attention. Oh yeah, I guess it, man. I have a lot of fun. Ah. There we go. Have some fun with it, boys. Yeah, check her out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put a link down in the comment section of the video uh, if you watch it on YouTube. Again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.